back. It's time for Feel Good Friday, where we bring you a little good news heading into the weekend. And today, it's all about Karina Popovich, the soon-to-be junior at Cornell University, is a STEM student with a curiosity for all things tech, specifically 3D printing. Karina used those skills to spark a global movement, inspiring a group of 200 people from around the world with 3D printers to make more than 20,000 PPE items a week. And now she's being featured in a brand new Microsoft commercial. And Karina joins me now to tell us a little bit more about her story. Karina, thanks so much for being here and congratulations on everything you've managed to accomplish already. Thank you so much, Diane. I am so happy to be here. We're happy to have you. So let's start with this group that you created. It's called Makers for COVID-19. You made PPE for frontline workers. Where did the idea come from? What inspired you to even start this? Yeah, so Makers really started out as me wanting to make a difference and help out my community. And, you know, it ended up with a 19-year-old girl leading a group of 350 people from the ages of 12 to 60 in 3D printing and donating 82,000 units of PPE across the U.S. and even some internationally. Um, that was a crazy experience for me, and I really feel like I changed a bunch of odds for other girls out there so now they can see that they can achieve their wildest and biggest dreams. And I want to pick up on that. Uh, but, but first, I also want to point out to the viewers, you didn't just print these things and get other people to print them. You also personally delivered PPE face shields to New York City hospitals. So what was that experience like? It was so gratifying um, seeing that I was able to solve problems. Um, and solve problems through engineering. And I think that part is what I just love STEM and why I love it so much. You know, you could really dream up of something and then make it. Um, and that's the beauty of 3D printing and engineering as a whole. So take us back to the early days, because you talked about how, how not a lot of girls go into STEM areas, math and science, that kind of thing. So how did you get interested in this and what made you decide to continue on and pursue it? Yeah, well, I think for me, what, what STEM really means is just, you know, being able to see problems in the world and then think of solutions and then actually build them and test them and see yourself making a difference. I think it's, you know, a world of opportunities. And for a person like me who, you know, grew up with immigrant parents and, you know, they still don't fully speak English, um, I, I felt like it was a great opportunity to move up the social ladder and reach financial security. Um, so I think, you know, STEM is so much more um, than what people think it is. I think it's about leadership. I think it's about equity. I think it's about empowerment. It's about, you know, really building our future. Um, and that's exactly why I just love, you know, showing the different side of STEM and showing what, you know, most people don't really think of STEM um, and don't think what it looks like. So what are you hoping to do with all this knowledge you're acquiring now in the long run? And what's your message to people who might think she can do this, but I can't? I think that... I really want to show people that there is a space for everyone in STEM. Um, we need more creative minds. Um, there are so many people already in STEM, but we need these diverse backgrounds and these diverse minds and ideas to really move towards innovation. Um, and I just want everyone to know that if you are a girl like me who you know, is a fashionista at heart and treats the streets of New York City as her runway, there's a place for you in STEM and there's a place for everyone in STEM. And there's just so many exciting technologies out there from blockchain to quantum that are really going to revolutionize our world. And um, why wouldn't you wanna be part of that? Yeah, and there you are, striking a pose in your dorm room. Karina, we so appreciate your time, everything you've done for STEM and your fashion sense. So thank you. Thank you. And you can find more feel-good stories at goodmorningamerica.com. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.